Ooh, my awesome thing of the week is we went ghost hunting. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Ghosty ghosts. Uh, we went up, took a little trip to um, Oil City through, um, it's called, what is, it's called is Immersive Life. And what they're start, they're just starting up. It's a brand new thing. And what they want you to do is kind of uh, go into these different scenarios and kind of immerse yourself in them. Uh, the first one was the ghost hunt. And that involved us walking around uh, an old bank, an office building uh, that was once owned by J.D. Rockefeller. And he had offices in there, which I had no idea, which was, I think was one of the cooler parts of it. We were able to explore this area um, with an EMF meter. If you're not familiar with that, that's the one that has it measures the energy. And it's supposed to start beeping whenever you're around um, a presence of some sorts. It will also react to um, high, like a, a electrical box, but uh, it's supposed to react whenever there's something around uh, you. So you actually got to play with that, like a, a real ghost hunter. And um, we saw a Tesla radio, which I thought was really neat. That picked up AM stations. But uh, we had a real good blast. We had a real big blast with it. And um, it was fun. It was it was quiet in most of the building until we hit an area where there was a piano. And we started playing with the piano. And that was the point where we started having some uh, really strong readings on the EMF. And they were just off the charts. And I think uh, Sorg was the one that was most... Uh, visited by friends because every time he touched it, it was, it was going off and it, you know, we, I, I take it out of his hand and give him to me a two at one point and I give him the other one and it was still just him. It wasn't, you know, it was just something around him, but it was uh, exciting to actually feel like a, a real ghost hunter and even check out the, the storied building. It was neat being in there, but it, we had a really good time with that. Yeah, it was a pretty good time. It was, um, you know, again, kind of like it lets you dip your toe a little bit in the experience. And, and uh, I was trying to get some testimonials from I know there was one girl that came out after us that was really freaked out around the piano. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, the, well, at least with her story was that, you know, there had been nothing happening until this piano started kind of making noise on its own. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, we'd been in there previously and it enjoyed us playing music. And it was like, hey, come back. <laughs> whatever was in there, but they, it was interesting to have them hear them talk about the different uh, stories and who they thought was in the building still. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, uh, was, yeah. was the meter, was the meter like what they had in Ghostbusters down in the library? Like, what did it look like? Well, it, there's a little bit of a picture. I don't know if you can see on the, on the Instagram here, it's kind of black and whited out, but it's, 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 it is kind of funny because it actually says ghost meter on it. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> like it's a branded e, EKG meter base. EKG is it? EMF. EMFs. I'm sorry, EMF meter. Um, but it was it was kind of funny uh, that that it was that, and it was it's kind of plasticky. So it does sort of look like the PKE meter a little bit. Yeah. Um. Um. It, you know, it was it was made to look like that a little bit more. You know, versus the real ones that they use on ghost hunters. It's probably not as powerful one to be honest, mm-hmm. like for what it is. But it's great for just kind of like going in and, and kind of doing that kind of thing. And they also gave you cameras. Um, mm-hmm. also here in, in, uh, in the shot is, and they're, they're kind of little, you know, smaller cameras, uh, that you can go around so you can record and, and, and I think they're going to upload them so that we can all watch them afterwards. Uh, so, so you can see it like, oh, there's a thing over there or something like that. You really mm-hmm. can't tell watching back because the screen was so small, but, mm-hmm. um, but no, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah, as somebody who's previously gone on ghost hunts, it was I enjoyed it. I, mm-hmm. you know, even that I've done that before, I really enjoyed it, and I think it was it was set up nicely. And like I said, I really enjoyed the history of the building and how much they talked about the history of the building. Mm-hmm. And, and and to be and this is a friend of ours actually that that that, that is doing this company. Uh, it's uh, I am real dot life is the website. If you want to go check out more of it, and and they're planning to do more than this. Uh, they actually have some other scenarios. They have the ghost hunt thing, which obviously I just did. They actually have some stuff uh, around a bank heist concept that you can be involved in, and the quest, which I don't think he's even told me about this one. Uh, but uh, and they have some other fun stuff around ghost hunts, and and they're looking to do uh, some more projects around there. And you can get involved. Uh, as a company that if you've got a cool place you think that will fit in for this I, I think they're looking for locations uh, so I am real dot life is the website go check it out and see what they got in store next so awesome I, I think I think one of the things that eventually will be good for this like the that we talk about escape rooms and things in my industry but I think ghost hunts are another good team building exercise that I, I think it, it's especially if you give different people different roles. Mm-hmm. So that would be a neat thing to do. You know, oh, I'm tired of going out and doing this. Let's, you know, let's, let's go on a ghost hunt. Okay. That's cool. I mean, yep. you'll get to know your team members better than whenever they're scared. 
And we got a little bit more to talk about. But there's another tech angle that goes with this ghost hunt. Mm-hmm. But I want to get to that in just a moment. First, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. Of course, because that's what we do. Because, I don't know, you guys aren't here. I had to eat all the pizza by myself. That's, oh, that's, sorry. It was lonely pizza. I mean, I got messy. But, you know. But, you know. You know. The whole pizza. Come on, guys. I need some help. You need the pizza fax machine. Yo, know, the pizza from Slice on Broadway is our team building exercise. That's true. <laughs> so Nothing brings together. us together like pizza. Like no, no.